Hey guys, um, this isn't a normal video for my channel, but I thought I would just put my two cents out there and kind of just let my feelings out a little bit because I'm a little bit annoyed, frustrated. Um, as you know, as most of you know, uh, YouTube has done a lot of changes recently, um, basically affecting small creators like myself. So, first of all, let me just say, I get it. I totally get it. Like, YouTube is a company, it's a business, and they need to think about their business first, obviously. If they can't make money, if they can't be successful, then there will be no platform, basically. So, I get it. I totally get it. YouTube cannot handle all of the small... YouTube can't handle all of the YouTubers out there, you know what I mean? Like, their AI system that's supposed to go through and like demonetize videos or approve videos, it's, it's totally not working. So I get that they want to make it more difficult for people to be monetized. Um, so I get it. What I'm kind of upset about is um, how unclear it was. So for me, um, okay, if you don't know, the new standard for being monetized is you need at least 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 hours watch time in the past 12 months. So um, like for me, I have over 1,000 subscribers but I'm just under the 4,000 hour watch time and like I think when I started doing YouTube my videos were kind of short like four minutes five minutes um, so of course you're not gonna get a lot of watch time if you look at the big youtubers now their videos are at least 10 minutes 10 to 15 20 minutes 30 minutes hour live stream so, of course, YouTube wants you to stay on the platform as long as possible. So, the longer the video, the longer the viewer is going to be on the site. So, it's understandable. They want longer videos, more watch time. Um, but I think it really hits, like, people who... Uh, like, I'm trying to get all my thoughts together. <laughs> I think... Um, yeah, I didn't know that when I started YouTube, of course. Um, so a lot of my videos are pretty short. Just recently, I've started making longer videos. Um, but yeah, I, I, I might reach the 4,000 hours before February 20th or whatever the date was. I don't know. But um, yeah, it, it kind of... It, it sucked. It sucked to get that email. It's like... <sighs> I've been on YouTube for like a year and a half and it was like, I was just, I am, I don't know, I'm about to get my first YouTube paycheck, first ever, and I was really excited about that, like, that's really cool, I've never, I never thought that making videos on YouTube would get me money. And that's another thing, like, I've been watching a lot of videos of other creators talking about this. Um, a lot of big YouTubers are kind of being a little bit condescending to smaller creators. Like, when I started YouTube 10 years ago, there was no monetization, blah, you know. Yeah, I know, I was on YouTube 10 years ago too. And I, there was no monetization. And I was making skits with my friends and I did it because I liked it and I wanted to. I like making videos. But, like, YouTube's not the same as it was 10 years ago. and. <laughs> like, I was on YouTube 10 years ago, I haven't m been monetizing any videos until just like l last year or a year and a half ago. I didn't even know you could make money. Like, this is not my, you know, the first YouTube channel on, uh, the first, the first video on this channel is not the very first video I've ever made, you know what I mean? <sighs> so I feel a little bit insulted when big creators are saying, well, you shouldn't be doing it for money, you should be doing it for fun, and that's how we started. And I'm not making videos for money. I haven't, I've been on YouTube for a year and a half, 
on this channel and I haven't received any money yet. I'm just doing it because I like it. But now it's like... <laughs> and, you know, of course YouTube wants us to put more content out, make it longer. And like, I understand that. And if you want to make money on YouTube, I guess we have to do that. But I think it's very contradicting to say you should want to do it for fun, but you should also be able to put out a 15 minute, 20 minute video twice a week in order to like meet their threshold and make make money. It, ugh. I, ugh. also, I've I've heard um, you know I was. I was watching some other videos and people were saying that the smaller creators just don't put enough into it and <laughs> put enough time or effort into their videos and if they did they'd be able to meet this new threshold easily. It's taken me, it took me more than a year to get, reach a thousand subscribers and I was so happy like you have no idea like I I didn't want to say anything on YouTube because, like, I don't want it to be about numbers and stuff, but, like, I, <laughs> when I reached 1,000 subscribers, I just reached the summit of Mount Fuji, and I checked my phone for the first time, and I saw that I reached 1,000 subscribers, and that was just amazing. Like, I like making YouTube videos because I like the community, I like to share what I know and what I do with you guys and I like to hear your comments and it's it's really fun and like just to hear people say like we don't put enough effort into it like this isn't my business do you know what I mean like I have a business um YouTube is not the only thing that I'm doing I have an I have my own business and like to <laughs> I put a lot of effort into my videos, um, it takes me a long time to edit them, I'm, you know, I want to make sure my videos look good, it's not, it's just like insulting to hear that we don't put enough effort into it because if this was my full time job, like the big YouTubers, then yeah, of course, I could pour all of my time into it, but that's just not my reality. and. I, it, it might never be my reality, and I'm fine with that, but like, don't count us out because we don't have enough watch time, you know what I mean? <sighs> YouTube is a totally different place than it was 10 years ago. 10 years ago, people were filming things on their phone, just uploading it, um, making skits and stuff. It's not like that anymore. and. <sighs> I just got really, like, I know, I, I like I said, I get it that YouTube needs to make this change, but it does feel like we are being punished because of the actions of some bigger YouTubers. And yeah, I, it was, and the email, it really sounds like we're being fired. <laughs> um, and it says they're going to take away all of our, basically, our, I'm still confused. It sounds like they're taking away our resources to make custom thumbnails, end screens, all that good stuff. Which, like, that was like, that's one of my favorite parts about YouTube. You, you know, you can make a cool thumbnail, you can make a cool end screen, and it would just, yeah. <sighs> But like I said, you know, I saw I saw some bigger YouTubers that I like and I watch and they're kind of being a little bit insensitive, condescending. Like, well, I don't understand why small YouTubers are going to get upset because they're not making any money anyway. I am <laughs> I'm just about to get my first YouTube paycheck. It's not nothing. You know what I mean? It might be it might be irrelevant nothing for big YouTubers, but like I was really proud of that. Like wow, the stuff that I'm putting out, like even though it's earned like a dollar, two dollars here, like that was amazing. That is amazing. 
I never thought I could upload what I wanted to upload and be able to make even a dollar. I never ever thought that. So, yeah, it just, like, I mean, just let us be annoyed. Let the small two YouTubers be annoyed because it's annoying. Like, I've already met one threshold. I still, like, if you don't know, to actually get paid from Google AdSense, you need to reach about a hundred dollars and then they'll send you um, your first paycheck. It could be over a hundred dollars, but whenever you reach a hundred dollars, they'll send you your first paycheck. So, I'm almost there. <laughs> um, and now if I don't get enough views in the next, like, month, I, I, like, I, first of all, it was not clear, like, where the money I've earned so far is gonna go, you know, and the second, like, I saw, you know, lots of, secondly, like, lots of YouTubers are saying you shouldn't do it for the money, but obviously we're not doing it for money. A <laughs> hundred dollars is great, but I mean, that's not gonna start my YouTube career. Like, but I, like, I mean, for the big YouTubers too, you know, I think you'd be saying something different if, you know, suddenly YouTube's like, okay, if you have a million subscribers, then you can get monetized. I think there would be a lot more people annoyed and angry about that. Um, uh, my thoughts are all over the place. But not being able, like, and I'm sure a lot of the big creators out there wouldn't be making videos 15 minutes long, 20 minute long videos every single week or every day, bro, if they were not getting paid. So don't tell us small critters you shouldn't do it for money because we know that, like we're not doing it for money. We, if you look at your stats, you can obviously see that it would take you a very, very long time to get as many subscribers or get it as many views and get as much money as bigger YouTubers, that's obvious. If you just look at your analytics, you can see that we're not doing it for that. But I mean, just let us be, I would say just let us complain. I mean, <laughs> I didn't, like we didn't do anything wrong. <laughs> I mean, again, I get it. I get what YouTube is doing. It makes sense. And if, if I had a lot more watch time minutes or whatever, then maybe I, I probably wouldn't care as much because it doesn't affect me and I can understand a lot of big YouTubers, it doesn't affect them so, and it's kind of better for them too. So I can understand why they don't want to hear us complain about it, but I mean, we listened to you guys when you were talking about the adpocalypse and everything and YouTube not showing your videos in the recommended and turn on your notification bell. Like, if you, if everyone was just doing YouTube for fun, none of that would matter. None of it. So, uh, I'm just complaining. I shouldn't complain so much, but I just, uh, I kind of just wanted to get my feelings out about it because as a small creator, I get it. I get what they're doing. I think it's reasonable. But also, I'm annoyed, and I, I think I have a right to be annoyed because when I signed up for the YouTube Partner Program, I I was happy, like, that that was amazing. I didn't know we could do that. And, you know, I heard um, Hiko Simon talking about, like, it's, it's gonna be a new goal for you. Like, it's good to have a goal to get a thousand subscribers and four thousand watch hours. But like, I already had a goal. I was watching that little number go up and that that was my goal is to see how high I could get it and, you know, getting my first YouTube paycheck, that's a big goal. Like that, that would be amazing. <sighs> I'm just a little bit annoyed, <laughs> if you can't tell. Um, no, and like, I mean, I don't know. Um, I'd love to work on, like, 
what I want to all the time. Like, that would be amazing. You know, people who have YouTube as their full-time job, that's amazing. And I think a lot of people look up to them and strive to be like them. And I mean, it's not going to happen for everyone, obviously. <sighs> but, I mean... But I mean, everyone starts somewhere and it's a lot different than it was before. It's hard to gain traction and if we're not monetized, you know, we're, it's, the algorithm promotes monetized videos, is my understanding. So, you know, I'm, I don't want to film a video and have it fall on deaf ears. I want people to watch my videos and like my videos, so for YouTube to promote it, you should monetize your videos. Um, of course, they want the monetized videos to be promoted because that's the money, that's, that's the videos that they'll make money off of. <sighs> just, it just sucks and I, I just wish like, bigger YouTubers would be a little bit more understanding though, it just sucks and of course, it's reasonable, but it sucks for us. So just let us complain for a little bit. It's not the end of the world, but it sucks because here I am following YouTube's vague ass guidelines of how to be monetizable on YouTube. You know, no swearing, no um, graphic content, nothing, like you can't even talk about the news, <laughs> you can't talk about sensitive topics, and then you'll be good to go. But like every video that I upload is demonetized right away. So, I mean, not right away, but after like a day, it's demonetized. So, um, my Disney C video was demonetized. I had um, a Hello Kitty Sweets Taste Test was demonetized. Christmas Sweets Test was demonetized. It, like, random videos are, were demonetized. Um, and here I am, I'm trying to stick to their guidelines to make sure my video is suitable for YouTube. And then one YouTuber just does something crazy, and okay, just <laughs> never mind. We're just not gonna demon. We're just not gonna monetize any of your videos. So, I mean, I was trying, <laughs> but I guess that's not enough. And I mean, uh, it'd be different if there was no monetization at all for small subscribers, then, you know, we wouldn't have had it and then it wouldn't have been taken away. But to have it being taken away is kind of a slap in the face. It feels like we're being punished for what another YouTuber has done. And again, I get it. It makes sense. I don't, I, I always thought it was kind of weird that everyone was being monetized anyway because I don't know how they would control that, you know, I don't, and obviously they didn't do it very well, but... <sighs> anyway, um, I like a challenge, so I'm hoping to get my watch time up before then. Um, I'm almost there, so I think I can do it, but I just wanted to be a little bit of a voice for small creators because I feel like... I don't know, a lot of the... the bigger YouTubers are just like, get over it, and it's like, yeah, we'll get over it, but like, let us be annoyed for a minute, like, you know, you guys were annoyed at the adpocalypse, and <laughs> if it's not about the money, then it shouldn't matter, so, ah, uh, just let us have a moment to be like, what the hell is going on, what happened, and, you know, of course, we're gonna like, dust ourselves off, and get back on that and, you know, I mean, I, I just feel like YouTube wants to promote that grind life where we have to, oh, how many minutes did I put up? What's my watch time? You know, it feels like we have to concentrate on that more, which is, takes away from the quality of the video, I feel. I don't want to think, oh, my video is not long enough. Oh, my camera died. I don't know where I died. Oh, my camera died. Okay. Uh, so, no, like, I just feel like this kind of promotes the grind lifestyle where, 
you know, small YouTubers, like, I feel like we care about our content a lot, and I want to put out good stuff, entertaining stuff, interesting stuff, but now, like, I have to be more focused on watch time. How long is my video? How many people watched it? How many times did I upload this month? And I, that, as for, for a business, from a business standpoint, I get it. For sure, I get it. But as, like, a, a YouTube creator, like, ugh, I don't want to be, you know, daily vlogging because I feel like I have to. If I want to put up a video, then I want to put it up. That's... That's my thing. Like, since YouTube is not my full-time job, I want to put up videos when I want to. If I feel like it's a good video, if I feel like I want to share something, that's when I want to upload. I don't want to feel pressure to stay in this YouTube partner program and get the benefits of that and, you know, put out shit content just to get like 4,000 hours. Like, <sighs> I heard some advice just to like, you know, if you put up an hour long video and get 4,000 people to watch it from start to finish, then you're done. But I don't want to put it like, what if I don't want to put out an hour long video? Like, <laughs> uh, I want to put out content that I like. I don't want to care about watch minutes. And then, <sighs> anyway, sorry, I'm sorry for complaining, I'm sorry for ranting, like this is totally not my style of video, but I just wanted to express myself, get my emotions out, and then regroup, and get my channel watch minutes up, I guess. So, just regroup, and like I said, dust yourself off and get back on to do what you want to do because yeah the money thing is not everything of course so I'm if I can't get it up if <laughs> that's what she said if I can't get my watch minutes to what they want by February whatever then fine like fine because I don't want to upload when I don't want to upload but <sighs> but I also like a challenge and it's also motivating to have some pressure on me, so I don't know what I'm going to do. Um, you might see a lot more videos from me recent, um, in the next month, but YouTube's not the only thing on my plate, so I don't know. I can't guarantee anything. And I, like, my goal is to upload twice a week anyway, um, but that is difficult because I want to put out good content. I just don't want to put out, like, a regular whatever, you know, unedited some, like, <laughs> I want to put out the content that I feel is good, so sometimes, like, I, uh, sometimes it's just unrealistic to put out two videos a week, so we'll see. I don't know. I don't know what I'm talking about anymore. I just thought I might as well just get these feelings out and talk to you guys, because that's how I feel, so... I'll see you in my next video. Bye.